Hello guys, in this video we will see a bit about progress bar and texture progress nodes. These nodes can be really useful to make things like loading bars, or mana, or life bars, cooldown bars. So let's first create a control node. Inside it we can add our progress bar. Then we can change the positioning and the size of it. Now let's create a script to manage the value changes of all the bars. Here, of course, you can decide how you want to change your values, like a hit function or something like that. As we don't have a game here, I will just use a timer. So we will connect the timer to our script and increase the value by 1. Let's just change the wait time to 0.1 to increase the value 10 times at a second. And then we can see our progress bar already working. Now we will see the texture progress node. As the name suggests, here we can add custom textures to our bar. Now let's change the positioning and the size. And then we can add textures. The under texture is the background of the bar. The progress texture is the texture that will fill the bar. The over texture is not really required. You can use it if you want. It will be something like border or lines that will be always over your texture. So you cannot use a full texture or it will cover everything. Now that we have our textures added, let's increase the value of the bar to see it working. And of course you can decrease the value too. To do that you just need to change the value to 100 and then decrease it. Not to finish, we'll create a rounded progress bar. So let's add the textures. Now we need to change the fill mode here. We increase the value and let's see the result. And so we can make another adjusts like change the fill mode
or change here at the radial fill, the initial angle and or R the center offset. And so we can get some interesting results. And that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoy it. If so, please consider subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment. Thank you for watching, bye.